Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. And that way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friend, it's great to have you tuned into The Morning Show today. Here on The Morning Show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing. Keep singing and sing it some more. For we're God's people, and that's what God's people do. Well, we sing. Joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all. Generations. 
day Don't know the moment when the clouds will break now But I can see him at the right hand Jesus waiting to come back again Our hearts are yearning For his return My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show. And I want to encourage you today to pick three people, just three people who have meant something to you along the way. Maybe somebody who helped you when you needed it most, someone who didn't give up on you when you gave up on yourself, or someone who has gone above and beyond to support you and just be a friend. Well, let's tell them today. We never know when tomorrow may be too late, and you'll wish you had told them. So today's the day we're going to tell them. You'll be glad you did. And I'm glad you're listening right here to The Morning Show. Here's Chris Tomlin. Back when I was a kid, I thought gifts from God only came from church. But the more that I live, the more I learn. It's not always the way it works Sometimes you don't see it till you're looking back When you didn't get what you thought you had to have Cause he had a bigger plan than the one you had Yours didn't work out, and aren't you glad? When you take a look around, it ain't hard to find Everybody's got things that money can't buy If the ones you love are sitting right beside you Then I'd say you got a lot Makes you thankful for the hills that we climb, for the waves that we ride, for the Lord. 
from God. Hallelujah, every day is a gift. Hallelujah, every day is a gift from God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. every day is a gift. When you take a look around, it ain't hard to find. Everybody's got things and money came by. That's the Taylors with one called The Same. But we're only two days away from 100 episodes. Friday's the day, 100. Isn't that something? We're going to be looking back at the past 100 episodes, remembering some of our favorite moments thus far, and you'll even have the opportunity to win some really incredible prizes on Friday if you're able to answer a few trivia questions about what's been going on the past 20 weeks. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait for Friday. 
That would be a perfect day for you to share the morning show with someone else. And who knows, you might even hear something that you missed along the way. We'll see. That's all coming on Friday. But for now, here's the tribute quartet. They've been singing about heaven for all about a million years or so. Yeah, are you ready for a great time tonight? we like from the sound, God is real. We live in a world that always questions if there can be a God in heaven. Every day we hear skeptics wonder how. Saying the Bible is outdated. That there's no way to explain it And the evidence is nowhere to be found But I see it every time I look around I know that God is real And His glory is revealed In the heart of everyone who just believes Just emotion that I feel God is real I can remember who I was And now I'm who I am Because there's a living God Who came and made me new So I'll stay with Him forever And every Another story that will show the proof 
This is Natalie. We want you to know about a contest going on right here on The Morning Show. It's super easy. You've all heard Southbound sing the theme song. Hey, everybody. This is Southbound, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. Well, we want to hear you sing that theme song. You can sing it just like Southbound. You can make it fun. You can make it original. You can do it your own way. We just want to hear you sing it. And if you do, well, you're going to have a chance at winning some super cool prizes. Two new pillows from MyPillow.com. You can't beat that. Southbound's going to be throwing in a new CD, an autographed vinyl record of their album, Southbound. And we're going to throw in a Southbound hat as well. Southbound's going to be the judges of their favorite theme song. And they're going to be announcing the winner on June the 17th. You can send those voice messages to us on the text line 769-240-6886. You can email it to me, natalie at morningshow.info. Or you can send it to me on the fake book. Super easy. Just get it to us. We want to hear you sing the theme song just like this. Hey, everybody. This is Southbound. And you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. The Morning Show with Natalie.
We're here to let the world know God's got a song. And it is the song of salvation through Jesus Christ and Him alone. And we will sing this song and we will play this song as long as we have breath in these bodies. And then the Lord will give us a new song, a song that only the redeemed can sing. And we will sing that song through all of eternity. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to The Morning Show. You're listening to The Morning Show. And it's time for your patriotic point of view with Larry Gresset. In one of his public prayers, President Ronald Reagan encouraged the nation to join together in a heartfelt prayer, both young and old alike. He went on to pray that God would help us to be in search of his guidance and the grace of repentance. Repentance means that we are genuinely sorry for the sins in our lives that we have committed against God. It may seem odd to some that an American president would encourage repentance, but he was not the only president to do so. Listen to the words of George Washington's prayer. O most glorious God in Jesus Christ, my merciful and loving Father, I acknowledge and confess my guilt in the weak and imperfect performance of the duties of this day. I have called on thee for pardon and forgiveness of sins. I stand in need of pardon. Abraham Lincoln's name can be added to the list of presidents seeking the forgiveness of God. He says, It behooves us then to humble ourselves before the offended power, to confess our national sins, and to pray for clemency and forgiveness. You will find in an excerpt from the minutes of Congress dated December the 11th, 1776, just five months after the signing of the Declaration of Independence. It recommends a day of fasting and humiliation to seek God's forgiveness and favor as a nation during the American Revolution. Many miracles and victories would follow, but repentance was first. There are many prayers that need to be prayed for our nation today. Prayers for guidance, for protection, prayers for healing, for prosperity, but perhaps none is so greatly needed as the prayer of repentance. May God awaken us to the fact that no other prayer is heard until this prayer is submitted. May God bless America. I'm Larry Gressick with your Patriotic Point of View. The Patriotic Point of View was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 33 years, Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. Together, we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the best mix of Southern Gospel music, along with your patriotic point of view here on The Morning Show. He is a grave robber. He's a wave walker. There ain't nothing that he can't do. He's a storm stopper. He's a death marker. Now he's giving that power to you. So come
Hey, this is Robert Butler, and I listen to The Morning Show from Forest, Mississippi. I heard a song on the program a few days ago that I really liked. It's called Just Can't Help But Tell It by the Liberty Quartet. I would love for you to play that one. Thank you. There's nothing that could ever keep me quiet About the day that I was born again My heart is full, my cup is running over And it's sweeter now to me than it has ever been Sing about it everywhere I go Just can't help but tell what Jesus did for me The power of his marvelous salvation Has changed my life and made me heaven bound So I will never let my voice be silent Everybody needs to hear about Oh, I just can't help but tell it When I think about God's grace How he saved me from a life of sin and shame I want the world to know I thank the Lord and give him praise He's my father and he knows his child by name Oh, he brought me out of bondage Praise the Lord, he broke the chains Sing about it everywhere I go Just can't help but tell what Jesus did for me I just can't help but tell it When I think about God's grace How he saved me from a life of sin and shame I want the world to know I thank the Lord and give him praise He's my father and he knows his child by name Sing about it everywhere I go Just can't help but tell what Jesus did for me I want to shout it out and sing about it Everywhere I go everywhere Just I can't go. help but tell what Jesus did for me That is a terrific quartet right there. That's the Liberty Quartet. They're from over on the West Coast. We don't get much of them here in the South, but we ought to. They're dynamic. That's the Liberty Quartet. I want to tell you we've got a special guest coming on the show today about 7.30 this morning, a group called Avenue. We do play them on the morning show. Casey Kemp, Haley Kemp, and Jonathan Mattingly, they're all going to be here this morning. Spend a little time on the morning show. You'll get to meet Avenue. Don't miss that. And in the morning, well, tomorrow is Throwback Thursday, and I want you to know that in the morning, we're going to be throwing it back to a song by the Hoppers. It was number one song. It was the song of the year in 1990, and it went on to be song of the decade for the entire 90s. The song was Here I Am, and the writer of that great song, Miss Sylvia Green, she's going to be right here on the morning show tomorrow morning to throw back to that classic kit. So we've got a lot of good things coming up. Here's the new one by the Freemans. If you haven't seen the video to this song right here, well, you need to go out on YouTube, Facebook. It's very easy to find. Just look for the Freemans. When they see me, check out this new video.
when they see me they see you let your hand rest on my shoulder let my Shine down upon me Let my voice Sound like your voice, Lord Let me love The way you do Like a child Looks like talk to you about the good folks over at hometown roots in sebastopol mississippi you know i like those folks over there and i always like to call them by name so that you know who's over there when you call hometown roots or you go into hometown roots you know kitty ron trey patricia all those folks are going to be over there to help you and i'm here to announce this morning that there is a new face at hometown roots and we want you to know who she is we've got miss abby compton with us this morning abby are you with us I'm here and I'm so excited. Well, we are tickled to have you on the morning show representing Hometown Roots. Abby, how long have you been at Hometown Roots? I just started at the beginning of May. I am in school at the University of Southern Mississippi in Hattiesburg, and I wanted to come home for the summer. And so what better place to work at than Hometown Roots whenever you're coming home? So I'm so excited to be here through the summer um, for a little break from school and have some exciting experiences over at Hometown Roots. Well, Abby, you're a smart girl. Those are some fine folks at Hometown Roots. They'll be real good to you. It'll be a good experience. I think y'all make a great team. Tell us what's going on over at Hometown Roots this week. Well, we have all kinds of stuff going on. Um, you know, we're getting ready for graduations and putting out all kinds of flowers and new summer looks and things like that. We have a lot of new products coming in our store. We have a lot of new clothes and accessories coming in. And then some of our 
hot sellers right now are all of our home decor. We have recently been revamping that uh, for wedding season. And so we have a lot of lanterns and signs and different things that you might want to check out. Um, and then also we have really been working on our online website. We want everybody to be able to see our store without actually having to come in. We'd love to see your faces, but we know sometimes it's kind of hard to get in there. And so we've been redoing our online store and you can see all of our products on there. Um, keep checking back because we have been uh, redoing it daily. But here in a couple of weeks, we hope to have it completely ready. You can find those links on our Facebook pages and we will have that set up and ready to go. And um, we are just revamping and ready to go for the summer. Well, I can see why Hometown Roots snatched you up. They've sure got a great little spokesperson right here with Abby Compton. Look, get on out to Hometown Roots. If you're in the area, we want you to meet Miss Abby. She's the new face at Hometown Roots. Thank you for spending some time with us and giving us the lowdown of what's going on at Hometown Roots. Thank you all. All right, we'll see you soon, Abby. Bye. Abby, how long have you been on your mind nothing's really going right looking for a ray of hope whatever it is you may be going through i know it's not gonna let it get the best of you you're an overcomer stay in the fight to the some folks I really, really like. They're the Mark Dubell family. We've had them on the show before. Here's their new one. Just a simple thank you.
just a simple thing Here's my gratitude From the deepest part Coming from my heart For who you are and all you do Just a simple thank you Lord, for Calvary Thank you for Thank you for the blood for saving me. Here is our thanksgiving. We walk through your gates into your sweet presence to a simple thank you. Here's my gratitude. From the deepest part, coming from my heart, for who you are and all you do. Just a simple thank you. Lord, for You came to my rescue Your love made me new I'm so ungrateful My life I give to you Just a simple thank you Here's my gratitude From the deepest part Coming from my heart For who you are and all you do Just a simple thank you Lord, for kindness This is Southbound, and you're listening to The Morning Show with Natalie. Good morning, y'all. This is Donna. And this is Mike. You're listening to The The Morning Morning Show Show with with Natalie. Natalie. Thanks, Miss Donna. And Mike. Here's Derek Loudermilk. You know we like some Derek Loudermilk on the morning show. Time is filled with swift transition. Not of earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. God's 
I recently found out about an organization called Hope Outdoors, and a particular project of theirs sparked my interest. I've asked my friend Larry Krim, who happens to be the chapter director of Hope Outdoors for our area, to come tell us what's going on over at Hope Outdoors. Take it away, Larry Krim. Good morning. Morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons, uh, Larry Krim here from Forest, Mississippi. Uh, I'm the chapter director for Hope Outdoors, a national organization where we carry disabled people hunting and fishing. I got involved with this organization a few years back. As Christians, you know, we get the opportunity to, to get involved in missions, and God blessed me with this opportunity a few years back. But we're raising money to buy a wheel track chair. If you're interested in making donations to the Action Track Chair, you can make that to Hope Outdoors and mail it to 1415 uh, Ephesus Road. And we would just thank you for the opportunity to, to donate to this organization. Thank you. Have a God day. Well, we're asking you to be involved in what's going on over at Hope Outdoors. And I'd love for the morning show to be a part of getting that chair paid for. It's a truly worthy cause. I'd love for us to be a part. You can send those donations to Larry Krim at 1415 Ephesus Road, Forest, Mississippi, 39074. Or you can email Larry at LarryKrim at gmail.com, and he can tell you other ways to get the donations to him. We're on board, Hope Outdoors. Well, well, I went down in 
the valley to pray Just a little more faith in Jesus And I made old Satan down on my way Just a little more faith in Jesus Now what do you reckon he said to me? Just a little more faith in Jesus He said I'm too young to die and too old to pray Just a little more faith in Jesus I went on down the valley and began to pray Just a little more faith in Jesus I made Satan that liar and stayed all day Just a little more faith in Jesus Well, children all I want, my brother, all I want, all I want, oh Lord, is a little more faith in Jesus, children, all I want, my brother, all I want, all I want, oh Lord, is a little more faith in Jesus, well get back and bring give me room, just a little more faith in Jesus, then I heard a little voice inside of me, just a little more faith Jesus. Now what do you reckon he said to me? Just a little more faith in Jesus. Said my sins are forgiven and my soul set free. Just a little more faith in Jesus. Well, children, all I want, my brother, all I want, all I want, oh Lord, is a little more faith in Jesus. Children, all I want, my brother, all I want, all I want, is a little more faith in Jesus Just a little more faith and a little more grace Just a little more faith in Jesus Just a little more faith in a Christian race Just a little more faith in Jesus Well, children, all I want, my brother All I want, all I want is a little more faith in Jesus Children, all I want, my brother All I want, all I want is a little more faith in Jesus. Music, ministry, and more. It's The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show, and here's your pastor's perspective brought to you today by Brother Doug Payne from Hanger Church, Brandon, Mississippi. Matthew 24, verses 6 through 8. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Borrow time, a postponing of something inevitable. The time before the inevitable is the barred time. With wars and rumors of wars, warnings of famines and all kinds of global epidemics, many believe the time has arrived. Everything Jesus is referring to here is only the beginning of the birth pains though. Now I am certainly not Dr. David Jeremiah and I'm not going to give you any kind of prediction today, but I will make a couple of comments. We might could say every day is borrowed time for God owns the clock, right? What I really want to say though is that God has not postponed anything, not even for a second. When the time comes, it will be right on time because it will be in His time. Knowing this, we should live each second of our lives as if it was borrowed time. This is Doug Payne with your pastor's perspective. The Pastor's Perspective was brought to you by Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. Salem is my home church, and I'm thrilled that they've partnered with The Morning Show to help us bring you well, not only the best music in the world, but encouragement and words of life straight from God's Word. Brother Larry Duncan and the entire congregation at Salem, they invite you to come and visit whenever you get the chance. We're located just a few miles off of I-20 coming through mid-Mississippi. So if you live in our area, if you're ever traveling through our area on a Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, well, you stop off the lake exit and visit with us. Thank you to Salem Baptist Church for bringing you your pastor's perspective. While I was sleeping, Lord, you were working. On the mess I made like only I can do When I start thinking I'm so far from you I wake up to hear you in 
whispered that's not true well good morning mercy you call me worthy feels like the sun shining on my face living's good this side of grace i feel it working goodbye to the hurting you woke me up put me on my way
Well, that's the Goodman's one that you recognized. And before that, you heard that brand new song everybody loves from Jason Crabb. Good morning, Mercy. Hey, I wanted to remind you about Friday. We're going to be looking back at the past 100 episodes. You will have the opportunity to win some amazing prizes, things like a $50 gift card, a $50 gift certificate to Hometown Roots, and maybe some other things along the way. Who knows? So Friday's going to be pretty big, and we're going to give you a chance to get in on some of that. And in about 7.30 this morning, we've got special guest Avenue's going to be here. Don't forget about that. I'd like to say good morning to some special friends over in Covington, Louisiana, who have been listening to the morning show. I certainly do appreciate those folks over there. My good friend Andy Burns, I believe he's listening this morning. And who knows, maybe Brother Shannon and Miss Sheila, they're listening too. I'll say good morning to them just in case they are. But we appreciate all our friends in Louisiana. But this morning, we especially appreciate our friends from Covington. Here's two of the nicest people you will ever meet in the world, Tim and Missy. They're known as Chronicle. Last I checked, I believe this song was sitting at number 36 on the Singing News chart. So I still think it's going to go up some more. We love it. He's got a way of turning the tide. Jesus told his disciples to cross to the other side. But a storm was raging. And in the dark of night, they were taking on water, tossed to and fro. The storm must have seemed like such a long way to go. They were about to go under. They were weary and so afraid They didn't know that Their Savior was on His way Till Jesus came walking Up on the sea Yes, they heard His voice As He whispered peace of uncertainty and it feels like you're drowning somewhere out in the deep but child just remember that Jesus will oh he has the power to move heaven and earth Thing for me, 
I'd be forever thanking him for Calvary. He lived and he died and he rose in three. Hallelujah, that'll always be enough for me. If he never ever did another thing for me, I'd be forever thanking him for Calvary. He lived and he died and he rose in three. Hallelujah, that'll always be enough for me. Is my Savior's love. If He never ever did another thing for me, I'd be forever thanking Him for Calvary. He lived and He died and He rose in three. Hallelujah, that'll always be enough for me. Hallelujah, that'll always be enough for me. My name is Kara Smith, and I wanted to share with you about J&L Farms from Lawrence, Mississippi. J&L Farms sells grass-fed beef that is USDA certified, beef that is 100% grass-fed with no additives. They sell beef any way you want it, hamburger meat, steaks, roast, specialty cuts, whatever you want, they'll do it for you. I myself called Larry Mathis after hearing about it on the morning show and I got some of this grass-fed beef. We had a little cookout and it was fantastic. Not only was the food good, but I enjoy doing business with Mr. Mathis. Grass-fed beef is a healthy choice because it is leaner and has significantly lower levels of saturated fats. It is also high in vitamins A, vitamin E, vitamin B, and antioxidants. For special requests for pricing and pickup locations, you need to call my friend Larry Mathis at 601-917-8063. You'll be supporting a good Christian business and supporting good gospel music here on The Morning Show. Hi, this is Jamie Dunn. And I'm Darren Vincent. And we are Daily and Vincent from the world-famous Grand Ole Opry. And you're listening to our friend Natalie Emmons on The Morning Show. Woo. Of gladness, brother, hallelujah, I am home There with my dear Savior, never more to roam And I'll sit with my father, mother, sister, and my brother When I, when I reach my home up there
be sent off gladness. Brother, hallelujah, I am home. There with my dear Savior, never more to roam. And I'll sit with my father, mother, sister, and my brother. When I reach, when I reach my home up there. Of gladness, brother, hallelujah, I am home. There with my new Savior, never more to roam. And I'll sit with my father, mother, sister, and my brother. When I reach, when I reach my home up there. Hello friends, this is Matthew Browder with the Browders. I am so excited. We are coming to Lake Mississippi June the 5th to Salem Baptist Church. The event will start on Sunday night at 6 o'clock. Do not miss this and invite everybody you can. Load up the cars, load up the vans, load up the buses. We're going to have a wonderful time. God bless you. There's a longing in my soul, oh, it gets stronger as I go, oh, I've been making tracks, now I'm past looking back, I gotta keep on, keep on moving on. been long, but I'm on my way home, home, made up my mind to make it home, home, gonna give it all I've got, till I reach the city of God, my home. gonna be a happy day hey. when I step inside the gate hey. my loved ones are there and no one knows a care and tears are tears are wiped away the road's been long
teacher, I have a lot of restless nights, but I've been able to reclaim a lot of my sleep ever since I won a MyPillow mattress topper from The Morning Show. I've been able to wake up every morning refreshed, and I look forward to the summer where I can catch up on some Z's. Everybody go to MyPella, check out the mattress toppers, and reclaim that rest. Well, I couldn't have said it any better myself. You heard it right there. It's Connor Bell. He won the mattress topper right here on the morning show, and he just told you what a phenomenal product it is. Go out to MyPillow.com, use the promo code NATALIE, be just like Connor Bell, and be getting you some good sleep at night. MyPillow.com. Hey, everybody. This is Southbound, and you're listening to... The Morning Show with Natalie. The Morning Show, Nana. I cast my bread upon the water by helping my brother struggling. Ministry and more. It's the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. And the psychiatrist, I was sent to a psychiatrist in the third grade. The principal of my school told my mother, 
that I needed psychiatric help. And Mama told me, she said, Mark, you've been chosen out of your whole school to get to go and take some tests. I said, well, hot dog, Mama. Let's go. And the psychiatrist ran these tests on me. And she's a real nice lady. She, she asked me questions about my mom and about my dad, about my older brother, Mike, who is perfect. Perfect people have no right to live. He never did anything wrong. I mean, he was so perfect, we used his halo as a nightlight. It was sickening. And she didn't ask about my little sister because she wasn't born yet. Melissa came along nine years after me, and Mama told me she waited nine years between me and Melissa because she's scared to death she's going to have another one like me. <laughs> and Melissa came along, and she's like my brother. Perfect. Psychiatrist finished all of her tests, went out in the lobby and told my mother. She said, Ms. Lowry, your boy Mark is normal. Mama said, what? Mama didn't believe that, so she took me to another doctor to get a second opinion. And that doctor ran an EEG on my brain. Do you know what an EEG is? It's a test where they tape wires to your head. And I thought they were going to electrocute me. And that came up normal, too. And Mama was frustrated. She told me after I'd grown up, she said, I was hoping you at least had brain damage. But everything came up normal, and Mama was frustrated. But Daddy wasn't frustrated. Daddy found a scripture in Proverbs, <laughs> chapter 22, that says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction <laughs> will drive it far from him. <laughs> that changed my life. Daddy started taking God at his word and beating the devil out of me every night. <laughs> and my dad is not a child abuser. My dad's the godliest guy I've ever known. My dad never hollers. He never yells. He never screams. He never tells you to do anything twice. <laughs> He's always about that far from a coma. <laughs> Even at football games, he doesn't scream. He just sits there. If he gets real excited about the football game, he'll go. <laughs> then you know he's on the verge of a heart attack. <laughs> but he gets upset, and when you pushed him too far, he doesn't holler, he doesn't yell, he doesn't scream. He goes like this. <laughs> That's it. You know, you could stand right next to him. He could go. You probably wouldn't even hear it. I can hear it blocks away. <laughs> when my dad goes, your party's over. <laughs> and mama is the opposite of my dad. Where dad is calm, cool, and collected, mama can't spell calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> mama is a screamer. Do you know what a screamer is? Kids, don't point. Someone you don't pay any attention to. <laughs> Until she hits a certain pitch. And you know she's hit that certain pitch when garage doors fly open all over the neighborhood. <laughs> she used to look at me and say, Mark! <laughs> you just wait till your dad comes home. My dad always came home. <laughs> He'd walk through the door from work. First thing he'd hear is my mother. Charles, you gotta talk to Mark. My dad would go. <laughs> the comedy segment was brought to you by John G. Weatherford Incorporated. John G. Weatherford Incorporated? Well, they're proud to be connected with the morning show and SGM radio. They're known to most as Weatherford Oil. They're a third-generation owned and operated family business that values God, family, employees, and customers. For over 40 years, they've been providing diesel, gasoline, motor oil, hydraulic fluid, grease, and logging supplies to some of Mississippi's best loggers, farmers, chicken growers, land managers, municipalities, individuals, and convenience stores. Whether you need large or small quantities, 
Well, they'd love the opportunity to talk to you about supplying all of your fuel and oil needs. With two locations, they proudly serve Scott, Lauderdale, Newton, Smith, Neshoba, Jasper, Clark, Kemper, Rankin, and Leake Counties. If you appreciate Weatherford Oil sponsoring the morning show, well, we would appreciate it if you'd call John at Meridian, 601-693-0981, 601-693-0981, or Jason in Forest, 601-469-3931, that's 601 601- Four six nine three nine three one, and let them take care of all of your fuel and oil needs. We appreciate them. We appreciate you. Hey, in just about three minutes, our special guest Avenue will be here with us. But here's Triumphant Quartet. I woke up this morning with happiness inside. Then I was reminded God is good all the time. I'm thankful, so thankful. That he showed on the cross on the hill where he paid for every sin. He's faithful, and I'm grateful for the life that he gave so that I can be saved and live forever with him. Even in a valley, I can say, Lord, oh, I'm and love given by my Savior shining down from above. I'm thankful, so thankful for the love that He showed on the cross on the hill where He paid for every sin. He's faithful and I'm grateful for the life that He gave so that I can be saved and live forever with Him. Even in a valley I can say On a hill where he paid for every sin He's faithful and I'm grateful For the life that he gave so that I could be saved And live forever with him My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show. It's Wednesday morning, and a lot of times on Wednesday, well, we like to meet new people. And this group right here, they're by no means new to the industry, but they are a little bit new to The Morning Show. And I, I just like to take this opportunity this Wednesday morning to get to know this group. I've been excited about them. I've seen them a couple of times, but never got to really meet them. So we're going to remedy that this morning right here on The Morning Show. We've got Casey Kemp and Haley Kemp. We know them right here as avenue when we play them on the morning show and i'm super excited to have these guys with us casey haley are y'all there we are here here. i'm here here's haley and actually just walked in here's john hey how you doing that was perfect (laughs) timing is it john or jonathan i want to call you the right name I'll go by either. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, well, I might change it up. I've got <laughs> Jonathan written down. So, you know, when I look down, I might say Jonathan. But look, let me just tell you, this is That's a true, great. true honor to have Avenue on the show. I know there are some big things happening with this group. It seems like everywhere I go, which I don't go that many places, but it seems like every time I do go somewhere, Avenue's there. I see Casey Kemp. I see Haley. I see your kids. I see everywhere I go. You know, I go to Scotty Inman's. I go to the uh, Absolutely Gospel Music Awards. Hey, you guys are everywhere. You're just it. You get invited to everything. 
Well, it's it's exciting for us to get to, and and thank you. Let me take an opportunity to say thank you for having us on. Uh, it's an honor to be on here, and uh, for for your viewers and listeners that, that maybe we've not had a chance to meet yet, uh, we're Avenue from Nashville, Tennessee, and our name comes from this. We're passionate about the gospel, and we're passionate about music, and we think that music is a wonderful avenue in which to share the gospel. And then if you're born again, we're on the avenue to heaven together. And uh, my name is Casey Kemp, and of course, Haley is my wife. We've Hello. been married for seven years now. We were married on April the 7th, so this past April the 7th, it was seven on the 7th. God's perfect number. That's right. And so uh -huh. we've got two little ones. We've got a five-year-old little girl. Her name is Aveline, but we call her Avi, A-V-I. And then our little boy, his name is Autry, and he's three. And so that's our family. And uh, then John over here, I'll let him tell you a little bit about, about his family. Well, uh, my name is Jonathan Mattingly. I have a wife, Sarah, and uh, one son, Asher. He's about to turn five in June. So that's that's pretty much us yep. in a nutshell. Yeah, <laughs> and we're like one big family because John and Sarah, uh, we've all been best of friends for a long time, way before we ever sang together. And uh, we were neighbors for a long time. We go to church together. And so uh, we're like a family, and we're just grateful that the Lord's allowing us to do this together. Well, we are so thrilled that you're doing it. We're thrilled to just get in on a little bit of your ministry. I'm glad you told us about the name. That was one thing I was going to ask you. That's a really cool name for a group, Avenue. I knew there had to be a reason behind that, and I was hoping that you would share it with us. And uh, talking about names, let me just say this. Y'all have the coolest kids' names ever. All three of those <laughs> kids' names are just out. I mean, they're just amazing. I have seen your kids, and they are absolutely adorable. And I've noticed this about you and Haley the couple of times that I've seen you. You just seem to be outstanding parents. And, you know, when you go oh, to things, I mean. when you get dressed up, when you go to events, there's a lot of people there. It probably would be a whole lot easier and more convenient to leave the kids at home. But I've never been to a function and seen you guys that you didn't have your kids there. And I did notice that. It did catch my attention. And I thought to myself, that takes a lot of effort. That's a lot of work. Way to go. That just really is admirable, and I respect that's, that. And I think, I think God's going to bless that's that. all Haley. Oh, that's Haley. You mean you didn't get those kids I ready, Casey? <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. Um, it, it is a lot of work, um, it, especially my son. He's super busy. He's a sweet boy, but he's all energy. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it takes a lot of effort to wrangle him. Um, they did really good the other night at the awards. Uh, I, we told them, we were like, we are really proud of you guys but there are times that they aren't with us um when we do go to things um but we don't have family that live close to us um so if we do something you know around Gotta home they them. have to go they're gonna be there yeah. <laughs> but they well, love it they, they, they do yeah. they enjoyed it and uh, they had a good time but sometimes you feel like a failure as a parent but when someone says that that really uh that made my day because <laughs> i mean it's yeah. it's important um, our kids are God number one, and then our children, um, definitely. So I never want them to, you know, feel any slack from us. So well, I don't want to be disrespectful <laughs> to anybody else in any way, but I have seen, I have seen people who spend their whole entire lives in the ministry and they minister to hundreds and thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people throughout their career. And sometimes their own families and their own kids get a little left behind. And so it's outstanding. True. That you've got those kids right there with them. And uh, I just noticed it. I wanted to say something about that this morning. Well, let's talk about the new single. We have, uh, we've played it here on the morning show and we like it and we want to play it again this morning. The title of it is Here We Are, and it's very catchy, very catchy. And I want you to tell us a little bit about this song. Where'd you get it? Did you write it? Do you guys write music? Sure. Well, actually, actually, Haley, Haley wrote this. Uh, she wrote this with Joel Lindsay. And uh, what it was, we wanted a song that would kind of say to people, hey, here we are right now to, to be together, to worship the Lord together. Um, here we are to be in his presence together. But one day... When life is done, those of us that are born again, we'll be able to stand together and say, when we get to heaven, here we are. Here we are to worship the Lord forever. And so that's where the idea of the song came from, and, and Haley and Joel wrote it. And uh, it, it's real catchy. It's a lot of fun to sing, and uh, we're excited that it's just gone to radio, and we thank you guys so much for playing it. Haley, I'm a little bit envious. Joel Lindsay's a pretty big name to be writing with. You, you're up there with some, some stout stuff. <laughs> 
What was that like writing with Joel Lindsay? It was actually great. I hadn't really co-written maybe once before, uh, so it was kind of, it's kind of new to me. And uh, he lives in California, so we actually had to do that over um, FaceTime. So that was interesting. But he was super easy to work with and very very kind because um, you know he's a great writer, and I was felt quite intimidated. But he, you know, he said um, we're going to write this, and I was like. So, you know, how should we do this step verse, you know, because we were trying to think where to go with it and how should we write it? And he said, we'll write it brilliantly. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was great. He kept it, you know, lighthearted. And so he was really, really kind. I appreciate um, him doing that with me. Well, let's play it. Let's play it right here on the morning show. This is our new friends Avenue. This is their new song. We're excited about it. And here it is on the morning show. Here we are. The sun comes up, the sun goes down This crazy world just spins around And we all woke up this morning on the ride of our lives Through the sunshine, through the rain A whole lot of joy and a little bit of pain Oh, what a beautiful day is waiting right in front of our eyes We are here a little while Let's make the most of every mile Cause this world is full of trouble But it's only for now Some days crawl and others fly Some days leave us wondering why Isn't it so good to know His faithfulness is never in doubt Children of grace, we have made it this far by faith. Nothing can take the place of the hope in our hearts. Here we are, happy and free. This is the way the Father meant it to be. God is love and He is good, so here we are. Step into that place Standing there on heaven's shore We'll say, we'll say Here we are, children of grace We have made it this far by faith Nothing can take the place single from our new friends avenue we like that song Haley. you and joel you wrote a winner there oh thank you well let's talk about the song that you uh that was before this one and i've actually never heard it i'm just going to admit that this is going to be the first time casey just sent me this song i was telling casey 
I'm new. The morning show's new. So I'm not in with all the record companies. I don't get all the singles that get sent out. I kind of have to go find all that on my own and hand piece all this together. But we love doing it and we do it every single day. But I have not heard this. Uh, Casey told me it was the, the most recent single before this one. He just sent it to me. We're going to, all of the listeners on the morning show, including myself, we're fixing to hear it for the very first time. Can't keep a good man down. Tell me about this one and then we're going to play it. Well, you know, this is another song that's a lot of fun to sing. And it's it's actually an old, let's see, who, who did the song? A new song, a, a group back in the 90s mm-hmm. called New Song in contemporary Christian music did this song. And so uh, when we were sitting around you know, trying to decide you know, what, what we wanted to pick for the record, this one just kept coming up, said, man, nobody's done this in a long time. And so we decided we would take a, take a crack at this one. Didn't we, yeah. 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 We had a great time singing it, uh, recording it. Uh, it's a great song. Um, uh, has a great, great message, um, about them putting Jesus in the ground, but they couldn't keep him in there. And, uh, so we're, we're very thankful for that. And we like, we love singing the song. It's a great song. It's a lot of fun to sing. Well, I yeah, can't wait and, to hear it. it. Well, we're excited to, to, to get it over to you and, and excited for the listeners to hear it. All right. This is our first time. You guys are with Main Street Records. I do know Q and Danny Phillips, and you're with some good company over there. So we congratulate you on that. You're now just a permanent part of the morning show. We're friends now. That's awesome. We're, we're honored, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's great. <laughs> we're tickled. Thank you guys for being here. I want to thank you for your time. You got a friend here on the morning show, and we're going to end out with this single that you've already had out, but we hadn't heard it. You can't keep a good man down. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Haley. Thank you thank so Thanks, Jonathan. Much. We're proud thank of you. you. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Here's Avenue. Here's that song that we're just fixing to hear. of heaven and he came to earth as a common man he taught us how we could love one another there was healing in his hands there were those who believed him followed him and there were those who wanted him dead they thought the grave would silence him forever but they found out instead you can close your eyes you can say it's a lie you can stick your head in the sand you can turn away Explain he was just another man When they nailed him to the cross By his hands and his feet And they put him in the ground Three days later Everybody found out that you can't No, you can't keep a good man down No, you can't keep a good man down I hear you say that it all sounds crazy it's a good story, but it can't be true. How could a man who was dead and buried mean a thing to me and you? Here we are 2,000 years later, and still the choice is just the same. You can say that you don't believe it, but it doesn't change a thing. No, it doesn't change a thing. You can close your eyes, you can say it's a lie, you can stick your head in the sand. You can turn away, even try to explain he was just another man. When they nailed him to the cross by his hands and his feet, and they put him in the ground. Three days later, everybody found out that you can. No, you can't keep a good man down. No, you can't keep a good man down. Where they hung him on a cross I can take you to the empty tomb I can tell you he's alive Cause he lives in me But the rest is up to you You can close your eyes You can say it's a lie You can stick your head in the sand You can turn away Even try to explain He was just another man When they nailed him to the cross By his hands and his feet And they put Days later, everybody found out that you can't. No, 
a good man down. Can't keep a good man down. The Avenue. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Throwing it back to the Hopper song. Here I am. Miss Sylvia Green's going to be here to talk about writing it. And then, of course, Friday morning is our big day celebrating 100 episodes. We hope you have a great day. See you on the morning this show, take two. And Lord willing, we'll do it all over again in the morning. See you soon. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. The blood of light, glory to his name. All right, come on. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within There at the cross where he took me in Glory to his name Oh, sing glory to his name Glory to his name There to my heart was the blood of light Glory to his name fountain come to this fountain so rich and sweet cast thy poor soul at the savior's feet plunge in today and be made complete glory to his name oh sing glory to his name glory to his name there to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to his name. Yes, there to my heart was the blood of life.